Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my Pan That Palette and my Pan and Every Palette update. It's going to be a bit of a different one, a different one than I usually do, and I'll explain it as I go. But if you're interested in seeing how I did, then let's just get into it. Okay guys, this is going to be a totally different structure I think than normally, but we have two palettes to discuss, a single eyeshadow and pan in every palette. There will be percentages and looks hopefully at the end, but I'll just do these two palettes first. So for Modern Renaissance, I'm going to show you on the screen what it looked like the last time and what it looked like in air quotes this time. And I'm going to just put it up on the screen and I'm going to be very, very upfront with you. To get to the ball rolling, two of the eyeshadows are gone. I don't know if you can see that there, but it, I believe, was golden ochre and antique bronze, and those two I finished. And there's pan and everything else. And in terms of usage, who oh, I use golden ochre over a hundred times, but since the last update, I used it 22 times. Um, love letter, I had used five six no hang on love letter i use six times cypress umber cypress umber no antique bronze we finished antique bronze and i use that 11 times to finish then cypress umber i use only that what was it those are one i think i think i've written down one one times for cypress under umber raw sienna is gone burnt orange burnt orange five times red ochre three four times Venetian red, Venetian red I used three times. Warm taupe is done and Realgar I used three times, okay? So that's that palette and I'll explain this in a second, but that's that, that's that there. And then I'm gonna jump straight into subculture. Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looked like. Right, so I initially, I'll show you what it looked like and what it looked like like what it semi looked like and as you can see in the photo Roxy was starting to look pretty thin so at that point I had used Destiny what had used Destiny why have I only written down once for Destiny All Star I had used three times at that point I had used Mercury 11 times Axis twice I didn't use Fudge New Wave I used twice Untamed once uh, sorry, Untamed twice, Edge four times, and Rowdy twice, okay? And then, after that photo, you can come back to me now. So after that photo, I actually finished Roxy, and I finished Mercury, which meant at this point, I had finished four eyeshadows in this project. So I decided to franken what was left into one, so I can only have one palette going in with me to the office. And now this palette is empty. We had, and this is where this palette is, now, so I will show you a close-up of this palette of where we are going forward, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six shades are from Modern Renaissance. So going across this first shade, I've written this down now, so I have a new section of markings. Red ochre is first, and I only repressed this, I just stupidly didn't think of a photo. Red ochre is first, and actually was thin enough in terms of how much product was in there, and then Venetian red is next. That was thick. Uh, Destiny, I don't know if you can see, but the pan is, is certainly expanded. Love Letter was very, very full. I was very surprised. Love Letter is going to take me a very long time to finish. All Star, I haven't hit side pan All Star yet, but I am freaking close. Mercury, what was in the spot of Mercury? So I, this was a very hard one to finish and this was a shade I did not, I did not enjoy using. I need to stop using shades I don't like, okay? I couldn't use it as an eyebrow shade, it was too dark, so I mixed it with a lighter shade and used it as a contour on my nose, my jaw, my nose, my jaw, my cheekbone, and actually on the sides of my forehead. I used also used the shade on my lid as a base with duochromes over the top. Um, or topper shades as suggested by you, but ultimately I just didn't like it. But I was like, I need to get rid of you because I was one sh shade away from fitting this palette in here. So the shade that I repressed into here was actually Cypress Umber and I don't know if you can see, but there's still a little bit of pan up there. It's thin all right. It's thin, but there's still enough product to take me a while because I'm only using that shade as a liner. Axis is still Axis. 
It's thick all, it's thick around the sides. Next row in the place of Roxy is now burnt orange. This is actually thin enough. It's thin enough and Realgar is next. These two are actually thin. Fudge I haven't been using. New Wave I have. I don't think New Wave looks any different and I've been using it. Untamed still the same. Edge I still didn't hit pan but I have deepened it and Rowdy is Rowdy. But now, now it's all the same. In the Sorry, now it's all in the one palette which I'm so excited for. Now that I have this empty, I don't have to carry two around with me, but this empty palette, if you want to know what this empty palette, look at all the rust in the end of this pan. But look at the rust in the end of it. So glad that I have that used or at least moved out of it. So this weighs 172.63 grams. That's what this weighs. So the empty component. So I'll put this in my drawer and I will keep it until I finish the requisite six shades from this palette. And this palette now weighs, what does it weigh? 191.56. So Subculture used to weigh 189 on the button, but now that I've added in this, it's 191.56. Oh my God, let's see how much product I actually had rolled in, like because now that I know the difference. So I've pretty much, like including the fact that I would have used Subculture uh, and I finished the four shades, I've added 2.56 grams into this palette. That's not bad that that's all that this added up to was 2.56 uh, max left. Not that bad, that's actually okay. But I'm so happy that I have them all here. These are all matte shades if you haven't noticed and now I have goals to hit pan again, I suppose. But my goal for next time hopefully will be to hit pan on Roxy. And again, I'm gonna focus in on these red shades. I'm so committed to these bloody red shades and they won't die. Like, I don't know how many times I have to use them. <laughs> it just won't go. But this palette will probably be rolling over with me till next year, but at least it's now one palette and not bloody two. So we have this and this is what's moving forward. And then for my pan in every palette, I rolled in the Bye Bye Birdie palette the last time. And I'll show you here in photo form, but I actually hit pan in 14 uses on this shade here and it's bloody beautiful it's in the shade finch i use every single shade in the palette i love this palette i think it's a really beautiful palette i think that this shade is so lovely with blue eyes probably green eyes probably all eyes but i think it would really make them pop like they're just so beautiful i absolutely love it i just think it's great and i actually use this shade down here so much this matte with glitters in boo bird the glitters didn't really show up on my eye so that was fine by me I don't know how noticeable that pan is. This pan was actually feels deeper than my other ColourPop palettes, but I'm glad that I got use out of it. I really enjoyed using it. And I think I was annoying everyone on Instagram on how many looks I was posting. But yeah, that's that there. My single eyeshadow from Violet Voss, the matte cream. I will try and have a close up. I had to repress this and I use it another 14 times. So I've now used this shadow 24 times. But I had to repress it and I keep it in this um, JD Glow thing on my desk. And I'm just working away on that. But that's still trucking along nicely. And then I'm going to roll in for my pan and every palette. I'm rolling in this KVD Alchemist palette that I got from Elaine. And I either got it from Elaine in January of 2021 or else it was December of 2020. And I'm going to roll in this shade called Pink Opal. And I'm gonna try and show a close up of it and I just don't know, can you see, right? But there is a massive dip in this and I have used this shade 54 times. 54 times and there's no pan. <laughs> the hell 54 times i think this is a great palette um i use it for inner corner highlights and for a topper shade and i know that i really enjoy this palette a lot more than i initially expected to because i leave it on my desk since i've gotten it from elen it has been on my desk uh in my little dividers instead of my drawers because i use it all of the bloody time so and i just because i'm using so many pink shades in my pan palette or red shades this has been my inner corner highlight and brow bone go to i'm so committed to hitting pan in it and i feel like it has to be close now the dip is huge 54 is that a 52 or 54 uses but that's what's going in now 
And then for percentages, I haven't done that yet. So I'll be, I will just insert them on the screen after I speak. And then we'll go into looks in terms of how many palettes. But I know that I have a lot more palettes than I did the last time. Two I got from Val. Thank you so much to Val. My God, Val, thank you so much. Um, three were from Colourpop that I bought. Um, two were from Huda Beauty, buy one, get one free. And one was the lowest cosmetics one that I told you about. But that's where we're at. So I know that the percentage won't look as good as it did. And also because I had to remove this because all the shadows are gone, that brought my pans down and then I hit pan. So I like broke even on my pan numbers, but it's, it's fine. So that will be next. And then after that will be any looks and then we'll come back. that was my weird kind of update don't really know but we finished four eyeshadows this time which is really really good I'm so so happy was not expecting to have any eyeshadow empties um I'm not expecting to have any eyeshadow empties the next time but sure look here's to hoping thank you so much for watching I hope that your eyeshadow panning is going well and I will see you soon take care bye